Hey, fourth graders. Notice the hearts behind me. Those were from yours truly, not me, but my oldest. Though you're not here to see them in person, know that I'm thinking of each and every one of you as we go forward. We are still together. When we talk about everything that we've done together through the years, we talk about going with the what. You're right, going with the flow. So here we are in a completely different place. But know that when I'm talking to you, whether it's through this, whether it's on the phone, that everything that we do, it is for you. And we can do this. Uh, Mom, that's dangerous. <laughs> Not on the coffee table. <laughs> Get out of the crib! Get out of the car! Okay, fourth graders, got a question for you. What is a primary source or resource? Well, actually, I have some examples for you. These are original pictures of my grandpa's. This one was from 1926. And this one was from 1945. They are original pictures from their time. Next, I have my journal. I wrote in this yesterday. I wrote in it the day before. And if you remember, if you had me back in third grade, I also shared my third grade journal. And those were all firsthand accounts of what I was doing at that time. Original document, primary resource. Ooh, what do I have right here? Huh, you're right, I have some newspapers. So, these newspapers, this one was from April 28th, 2007. This one was from March 22nd, 2007. These are original newspapers from the Jamestown Sun. They are a primary source. They are first-hand accounts of some things that happened during history. And then let's see what else is in here. I don't know if you can see that. That person might look familiar. Original documents. So you have the chance to create original document. I know some of you are already journaling and doing things like that, but considering what's going on in our life right now, you have this amazing opportunity. So what I'm going to ask for you, here's the challenge. If you don't have a journal, if you weren't able to come pick them up at school, Find something to write on that's obviously okay with your parents and write down what are you feeling that day. Make sure to put the date on the top and put down what are your thoughts, what are your feelings, what did you do? For example, huh, March 23rd, 2020. Today, my little brother and I made an obstacle course around our house. My little brother, Teddy, ran all the way to the door and back and then said, Cowabunga, dude, he's pretty goofy. I also climbed up in my loft and tied my snake around a bucket. Done. First hand account of what is going on at that time. That is what I'm going to ask for you to do. Try to do this about three times a week and then I hope you're able to share those with me as well. Now let's go back in time. Oh my goodness, I have it right here. Pope Elementary School, class of 1997. I just can't believe this. Let's look. Oh, all my friends, what we wanted to do this summer. Let's see, where am I at? Oh, here we are. Tammy, age 12. Ah, oh, my best friend, Kim. My favorite subjects, PE and art. What I'll remember most about sixth grade? Friends, recesses, and sixth grade camp. What is my ambition? Hmm, this is what I wrote. Playing baseball or basketball and then being a sports broadcaster. <sighs> I can just see that happening right now. So primary. Oh my goodness, look what I found. This was my class yearbook for when I was in sixth grade. 
1997. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so there I am. It says, uh, that's super funny. Kim was my best friend at that time. And that I wanted to be a sports broadcaster. Hmm. Well, that didn't necessarily happen, but what a fun primary source to see what I was thinking at that time. An original document. Wait. Do you hear that? Okay, one moment. Are you sure? Okay. Apparently, I have some little boys that want to tell you their version of what a primary resource is. Hey, boys, come on down. A primary source is made originally by people during an event. <laughs> 